After a lot of errors, let's hope this hack works. There you go. I hope they don't ban me for this. So whenever you have to upload a vertical photo like this to Instagram and you want to keep it in your feed as a square image, you either have to crop it, let go of the details or fill it up with white borders, which isn't very ideal. Now, there are ways in Photoshop and many other editing applications to extend it, but there are a couple of problems with that. Also, if you consider using AI to fill up those gaps, still, there are a few issues. Let's discuss them. So let's say you press C for the crop tool and then you want to make it square right there up top and let's go ahead and extend it just like this and you want to fill it up those blank spaces with content aware so you make sure you check content aware now photoshop does not have enough places to sample from and that is why it turns into an alien jungle so we don't want this even if you try the dedicated content aware it just won't work especially in this case now let's try ai let's extend it again and this time we don't want to fill it up with anything keep it as it is let's save it as a png by going to file export and quick export as a PNG. You want to make sure that the transparency is maintained for AI to fill up those areas. Now let's save it as test AI. Now here's DALI which is an AI platform and if you want to know more about it we have a dedicated video in the description you can watch it later. For right now let's click on upload an image. We can upload the same test AI PNG and you want to make sure you take it all and click on crop and then you choose edit image because we want to fill up those areas. Now, those areas are already empty, but it won't let you type unless you erase something. So just dab once. This option will show up. Now, explain the entire image. So we're going to type in a woman posing and sitting on a stool in a mountain valley. Maybe this will work. Let's try. There we go. It doesn't work. Uploads with realistic images are not allowed at this time. So these are a few problems. So how do we get around this? Turns out master AI expert and super duper godly creative Karen X Cheng has the solution to our woes. So I was going through her feed and she created a tutorial on how she used Dal E to create different outfits. Now in this tutorial, she erased the face. She blocked it. So why don't we try it with our image? Now, before we move forward, I think it's important to take some time to show some love and appreciation to Karen because she is the person to follow. If I create a video about AI, chances are probably Karen has created a video about it about three years ago already. So if you want to stay up top with all of the AI video, photo and stuff, this is the person, this is the creative to follow. Back to Photoshop, let's take a hard round brush and cover up these areas. Now let's save it again and try to get it to DAL E. So this is test AI2. Back in DAL E, let's try to upload the image again. Test AI2, in which we removed it. Click on open. Go through the same steps. Let's tab here and type in the same thing. Let's click on generate. And there we have our result. Isn't that fantastic? Take a look at it. If you ask me, just all of them work perfectly. So let's go with this one. And from here, you probably know what to do, but wait. There is an issue that we need to discuss. For now, let's download it. Now, how do you assemble it in Photoshop? Although it sounds simple, there are a couple of things. First of all, if you don't care about the resolution, this is the simplest way. Just open up the DAL E image in Photoshop right here. There you go. On top of that, open up the original image, paste it there. So here's the original sample image. I'm just going to place it here over the canvas just like this. And it is pretty much done. And if you want to just keep that particular area and not have to deal with all of these edges, simple. Hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the mask button to create a black mask, take the brush, white as the foreground color, make sure it is a soft round brush, and then just paint this area. Make sure the mask is selected, fixed. And here you have your extended image. But there's an issue with this. Might not be an issue for you, but have a look. 1024 by 1024 in resolution. If you want a little higher resolution, especially in the middle areas, and you don't care much about the filled areas, this is what you can do. Instead of first opening the DAL-E image, open the original sample image or test AI would work too, in which you have not covered the face. All right, let's open the sample image. Now you know the process. Press C for the crop tool. Make sure none of it right here is checked. One is to one square and let's extend it. Now on top of that, now that the resolution is higher, we're going to place in the DAL-E image. So let's drag it and drop it inside of Photoshop. Now we have to adjust it. Hold the Alt key or the Option key. Click to make it larger. Make sure this is fitting properly right here. Now we only want it in the corners. So hold the Alt key or the Option key. Click on the mask button to create a negative mask and you can fill up those areas. You can take the brush or directly fill up those areas. It's up to you. I usually take a soft round brush and then fill up those corner areas. Now, even though the corner areas might not have that much of a resolution or quality, at least the middle areas or the subject areas are high 
in resolution. And if you want to increase the resolution further, you can always use upscalers. But have a look, this is 4912 by 4912 pixels, much higher than 1024. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your time. And by the way, if you're interested in extending an image without using any of these AI tools only in Photoshop, do consider watching this video. We talk about three ways to do it. Now keep in mind, it will only work if your image has some substance to sample things from. It will maintain the quality. So that's an important video to watch. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.